We have a beautiful world. We should praise our Creator every single day for this world that gives us life, that gives us joy, and through its beauty, we're uplifted. Every day, we have new life, and every day, we should praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you learn one thing about Book of Revelation, you should learn this. What I'm going to cover in this clip is pretty much everything you need to know about the Book of Revelation. There's nothing else as important as this event that's going to happen in the future. I want to tell you something personally. The Book of Revelation has been a curse and a blessing to me. A blessing because Jesus unveiled things that I didn't know about the future. And through the book of Revelation, I was able to learn the Bible even more than I knew before. But it's been a curse because the devil is relentless. He's hounding me like a mad dog through family, through business, through government. If you're a Christian, you understand what I'm saying to you. You realize what's going on around you. But I praise God through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, that he gives me strength to carry on that I'm able to send to you a message. I promise you, it's a valuable message, and it's one you should know. This clip is probably the most important clip that you can ever watch that I make, so let's move forward. This is pretty hard for me to reveal to you, so I pray that you have patience and understanding and be as the Bereans. When I was a child, around 10 years old, I started having a dream. It was the same dream over and over again. My parents took me to doctors. They did a number of tests on my brain and found nothing. You see, what would happen during this dream is I would shake violently while I was sleeping and sometimes even stop breathing. The dream continued through my teenage years, in my 20s and my 30s. It was the same one over and over again. It was on a beach facing an ocean with a mountain range on the right side a wooded mountain range, and off in the distance, a massive explosion. Kind of like a nuclear bomb, but it did not burn my eyes. I looked straight at it. It was a mushroom cloud, after which a massive tidal wave passed through the speech and into the city laid behind it. I had this dream all the way till I was 30, and at 30 years old, I had the last one. For 20 years, I can't even tell you, friend, how many times I had this dream. 200, 300, 500. At one point, it just became a nuisance. At 30 years old, I moved to California. And I took my rollerblades, grabbed my wife, and we went rollerblading. And I looked off into the distance in Santa Monica. And I saw a mountain range on the right side with trees. This was the beach in my dream. This dream is why I started reading the book of Revelation so intensely. This is why I wanted to find out what the future was about. Not only has the book of Revelation helped me, it has enhanced my ability to read the Bible, but it's pointed out to that dream that I had as a child over and over again. And it's also showed me what the future is like. So let's find out what the book of Revelation says. In Revelation chapter 8 verse 8 it says, Then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and the third of the sea became blood. An asteroid will hit the earth. This is written in the book of Revelation. When the angel sounds the trumpet, this is a heavenly event. God is calling on the earth, saying, I will return soon. The trumpet is complemented by a physical event that happens in our world. There are seven trumpets in the book of Revelation, which I will go into in a later video. After the seventh is blown, then Jesus returns. This is one of the trumpets that is blown, specifically number two and the sea is struck by an asteroid. The third trumpet sounds. I believe that the physical event for this trumpet is a comet, but it might be struck by probably nuclear missiles from the nations trying to veer it off its course. Because here's what happens, Revelation 8 verse 10 and 11. Then the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers, on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was bitter. Many people 
have different versions of what's going on here. But I believe that in order to get our attention, God has to do something like this. He doesn't destroy the whole earth, only a third of it. He doesn't destroy all the water, just a third of it. This is not a plague, but a call, a trumpet call that he's returning. If you learn nothing else about the book of Revelation, you should know this. These two events are going to be detrimental. And what happens to the world will finalize the move for God to return. If you do not want to learn anything else, just know this event so that you can prepare, so that you can pray for yourself and your family, that when that time comes, you're ready and Jesus can take you home. I am Daniel for the 144,000. Please subscribe and God bless you.